Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 08 for the PlayStation 3. And in this episode of our season as Casey Kane, driver of the number 9 Dodge Dealers, Dodge, we're going to Pocono for the Pocono 500. It's a 500. It's one of the longer races of the season. Now, this is my favorite track in NASCAR for the time, but... I don't know if it's going to be my favorite track to race at in this game, because this game ruins all kinds of stuff, and there's a lot of games where Pocono is not even as good as it should be. But last episode raced at Dover, we had a good run, I found my way up front because of the cautions and stuff, and then they took a caution and fucked up the scoring. And at Charlotte, we got screwed because everybody else was able to go way further on field than me for no reason. And at Darlington, well I can say the same thing there, but they also screwed up the scoring to end that race. So three races in a row we've got completely screwed. So in the standings? Mark Martin is leading by 55 over Kyle Busch, who had it for a really long time, and now we're 346 points back in ninth, which is still a better 2007 season overall than Casey Kane actually had. So let's just go do this race and hope good things happen. Brian Vickers is the pole sitter here at Pocono. And then Jeff Gordon's also in the front row. Your points leader, Mark Martin, is starting third. You've got Ryan Newman, Jimmy Johnson, Hopefully he doesn't uh, lose his steering and crash into the wall in turn one. Jeff Burton starting sixth, Dave Blaney seventh, Greg Biffle eighth, Clint Boyer ninth, and the Daytona 500 winner, Jody Machek is starting tenth. What is this Rick Allen commentary I'm giving? Fuck! There, I, I said something that Rick Allen's not going to say on live television. So, wow, this feels so weird. I mean, the car is turning left on its own, but it always goes back. But, uh, yeah, the, this, this just already feels so strange. The weirdest feeling I've ever had racing at Pocono, and we haven't even taken a turn yet. Man, the frame rate is low. An old technology from 2009 or whatever this PS3 has. Damn, it's just such low frame rate. It's just lagging and stuttering. And I, I, I want to pass the cars in front of me, but there's nowhere to do that, and they're just stopping me. Okay, so it's a throwaway lap. I need to find a way to pass cars. I can be faster than them, but I can't pass them. And we don't know how tire wear is, so if I'm slightly faster, then that means we're probably going to get passed afterwards. And I'm driving all over the place. I'm sliding shit. Mind, we are on the, the hardest difficulty. We're on hard. And I don't know what that means at every track. At some tracks, I, I can win on my own pace. Other tracks, I can, some funky shit's got to happen for me to actually take the, the lead and be a contender. So, yeah, that was the throwaway lap. We're back, moving. We're wiggling and wobbling this thing around. I, I'm trying to go through the middle because Michael Walter won't get out of the way. Okay, there we go. The car keeps turning on its own. Off-caster setup bullshit. Why we need that whenever no one's going to buy this? It doesn't come with the steering wheel. It, NASCAR 08 for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360 did not come with a steering wheel. So why does it have an off-caster setup to turn the car to the left on its own? Why is the car it's just, it's just gonna slide across the track right into the wall? Weird weirdest grip level we've seen yet. I mean it's a pretty flat track, but man. I let off the gas and the car just ices its way, it's ice skates into the wall. I don't wanna pass these guys in the bottom. I don't feel like that would work. Okay, I'm gonna hit the brakes. There's banking in this turn, so I'm not gonna do whatever it did in turn three. There's one of our teammates, Elliot Sadler. I have to think about it. Hey, hey. Paul Minard. He swiped my ass. I'm only in 36. I'm only passed like seven cars. Don't stop me now. Because I'm not having a good time. Shit. Well, um,. I'm having a better time doing this than I was playing NASCAR 06 a while ago. I was trying to record that because I was doing the Daytona 500 thing to get that out of the way for 2025, and I was just having some shit luck on that one, man. A freaking teammate blows up. I swap to another teammate, and they wreck their own car. Just, you get a driver up front in NASCAR 06, and when you swap away to a different driver, the driver you were just racing as just starts running slower. It's, total team control. This is very much lacking in, in, in team control sometimes in that game. But then this is a worse game, but I'm so used to having a terrible time that I'm numb to it. A bad time could be a good time here. 
My nose itches. Dinger. I, I need to clear the dinger so I can take my finger and itch my nose. Ow! Fucking dinger. Eh. Okay. No more itchy on the nose. Well, they're all packed together over here. That seems like it's like 15 cars or something because there's another lead pack up front. Kyle Busch is leading laps. It's in between him and Mark Martin. Is it Joe Nemechek? Is it Mark Martin? Is it Jerry Nadeau? Freaking no, this is changing drivers and again and again from one team to another. It is Mark Martin. This and this year only, 2007, was it Mark Martin. And he almost won the Daytona 500 in this year. That was a night race. Our Daytona 500 was a day race. There's another teammate of ours, Scott Riggs. Oh God, Dale Jr. Dale Jr. Dale Jr. is, is smashing the brakes in the middle of the straightaway. This guy just decided to not give me room. Cool. Uh, and then you're gonna put me in the wall. Are you Montoya? No, you're Casey Mears, I think. No, Casey Mears is at uh, Hendrick. God, I'm so freaking confused. I went from 06 to 08. It's like, no, that's not 07. They are all, uh, they're all, they're pitting? We've only got five fucking laps. Why are you pitting after five laps? Man, I don't know, I saw Dale Jr. hit the brakes in the back straight away, but I don't feel like I had anything to do with that. Okay, so the fuel tank lasts six laps. Man, we're lacking straightaway speed. Tony Stewart just beat me right there. Ugh. I've still got the grip to contest with him. That's nice. I'm going to use his draft. I'll try to catch back up to him in the straightaway. Okay, the, the rubber coming off the tires is a really neat effect. Why am I losing rubber on my tires as I drive down the straightaway? I don't know if y'all have noticed that at any point watching the series. That you just throw rubber all over the place while turning and stuff. But then it also happens in the straightaways, too. We made some really good progress. Remember, we don't have black flags on in this game because they're, they're stupid anyway, so I have to self-police myself to think that it's probably 55 miles an hour. Okay, they're going to check each other up, and I'm trying to just fit in and all this. Okay, so I'm going 51, 52. I have a car slowing down on its own. Yeah, it was 55 miles an hour. I know my shit. Okay, no damage to fix. Get the tires of the fuel. Fucking Jane McMurray bitch's ass over here. Quit changing lanes. We're going back and forth. Just stupid Dale Earnhardt Jr. Stop drinking Budweiser. We'll save that for after the race. Whenever you gotta cry about how you suck at driving you didn't win. Fuck this shit, man. Just get the car into the pit box. Yeah, dumb Matt Kansas. Right, we'll stupid Toy Stewart's running me over. And now you got AJ Almendinger checking me out. Well, I am Casey Kane, so. I mean, doing the little ass commercial where I'm, I'm showing off to the girls who pull me over in their cop car or whatever. Have y'all seen that commercial? I don't know if y'all kids that ever played this game know about that commercial. I never forgot it. That's something worth talking about. NASCAR was, was pretty cool on that stuff. They loved objectifying their drivers. They objectified Dan Patrick, and they objectified Casey Kane. And I don't feel like there might have been one more. But I, I can't think of it right now. Because those are like the ones that really stick out to me. So we're 30th? They stacked up so hard on the way into Pit Road. And then I'm 30th. I feel like I lost time on pit road, despite passing just a ton of cars. I feel like maybe it would have been better off not being in traffic, checking up for the other guys. I don't know. I'm trying though. I'm, I'm trying to get around these guys. They're running really freaking fast. Oh, oh, there it is, the, 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 just the non-grip area of turn three. Okay, I passed him. I passed one freaking car. Is this a track position race? We haven't had a caution. We have a caution free race. I don't think we've even had one of those. We've even had a caution at Talladega, didn't we? I'm getting passed by David Gillen. What do I do? I run faster than everybody, but then I, I lose it all on pit road, and then this shit happens, and... Can the car please stop driving like that? I don't know how to drive to make the moves on the cars. They all just sit in the way. Look at this shit. I just drive right the heck back up to them. 
Why is the card dancing? Stop dancing. I hate that. I hate it when they do that in games. The card just dances all over the freaking place. Just drive in a straight line or, or take the corner smoothly and normal. Just fuck me, man. This, look at this dumb crap they put in an screen. It doesn't make sense. All these guys are taking pit stops a whole lap early every time to the point where they're... After five pit stops of this race, they're going to be taking an extra pit stop compared to me and the other boys. We're not, we're not even that fast. I mean, I was just making my own field, and now I'm at a massive disadvantage via track position. And I don't even know how it happened. Like, I gained so much on pit road. Like, what did I do wrong? I, I, I'm down pit road, I got four tires and full tank of fuel. I don't know other option than that. Stupid teammates just crashing into me. Please stop getting loose. Just go. Just go. 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 And we're fourth. So, I mean, if. There's only a few guys that are on the same strategy as me, and then we find up finishing top five. I feel like not very often that we finish top five, finish top ten, and then not win the race. Okay, this is how you enter the pits here. This is how you do it. And I did speed. I went under it. I, I went flying in there. That's how you do it. Okay, yeah, they got the pit stop. There's Tony Stewart. They're doing his stuff. So we're running better than Tony Stewart. Kill yourself, car. Just drive out. Driving onto the track. Now oh, we got all these guys. Okay, well, they're riding above the group. A really awful pit road exit. He's not even up to speed yet. And this shit happens. Okay, we're gonna pass this guy. Hey, we're, we're 23rd after all the rounds of pit stops. We are moving forward. It's just very much lacking in track position. Well, I see one guy going off in the pits right here. That's insane. Because we're not even at lap 15. The first guy's a pit for every five laps. We're not. We haven't finished lap 15 yet. Alrighty-o. Caught some guys. We're going to come passing them. Man, the way this thing is just sliding. Default setup is my car sliding through the corner. It has me wondering if I take my last pit stop on 48 as expected. It's gonna have enough tires to go two laps without blowing on the weight. Just burns off the rubber power sliding through the corners. But yeah, this is where I expect pit stops and they're checking each other up and oh man, I don't, I don't like where this shit's going. I'm gonna slide into the corner like this. Okay, get a grip. They did not crash into the wall. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself for their pit stops. That guy wasn't even pitting, so I didn't need to do that. I want to go straight, but I can't. The car doesn't like going straight. Now you're going to make me three wide. I have to go to the end of lap 15 to make the thumbnail. Oh my god. Go away, Brian Vickers! Why are you even here? You started on the pole. I'm moving forward, you're moving backwards. What is this, this racing we're doing? I have nowhere to go, and y'all won't stop surrounding me. The physics engine is not appropriate for y'all dumb AI shenanigans. Why is Casey Mir slowing down? You got people taking pit stops, you know, into lap 16. Some people are hitting... I mean, I don't even know what can cause you to pit at the end of lap 16. You mean you're playing every pit every four laps? I have no idea. All these guys coming off. Greg Biffle's got ass damage. I mean, I'm faster than these guys, but, like, they're driving stupid and... You need the whole track to actually pass a body. That's the thing. You don't have the whole track when you're trying to pass a body. We're going to barrel it off into turn two, and I'm trying to pass Casey Mears. He's not letting me go. He's holding me up, but at the same time, I'm not fast enough to pass him. You have to be ridiculously faster than somebody to actually pass him. Oh, this is like 2021 NASCAR. Holy shit. This Pocono race is like 2021 Pocono. It was entertaining to watch, but at the same time, racing there must have been just stupid. Okay, so my next pit stop is supposed to be... Uh, I, yeah, this lap. Okay, my, my fuel light's on. Yeah, 6 times 3 is, is 18. Do -do -do -do. Oh, we're going to pass somebody? I mean, losing speed by steering my car back and forth on the stretch for this stupid off-caster setup crap. I've never had it this bad until this race. <laughs> Where, like, if I don't turn to the right down the straightaway, my car just sends it towards the infield. I mean, holy shit. 
Okie dokie then. Okay, tires. Okay, we're gonna go flying into the pits. Alrighty, yo, now get it down to 55 or whatever. Alright, I was going 57, and you know, there's a little buffer of sorts that's supposed to be there. So there, changing my tires and my fuel again, and still haven't actually passed Ken's. I pass him coming into the pits every time, and he holds me up. I don't know what happened to Tony Stewart, because we did beat him off last time, so yeah. I guess it makes sense that we're not seeing him anymore. We got this guy, he's gonna pass me, and I don't have any traffic. And right back up to speed, and right back into racing. Okay, keep it off the wall, let the car do its crazy thing. I mean, I, I'm trying to drive normal. I'm not telling the car to go to the top of the track or to the bottom. This is just where it's going. I'm trying to manhandle this thing and all its wacky do. Go away, fucking Dave Blaney. What the hell is this shit? No, I'm just trying to just drive. He's following me and tagging me. I don't know. I can't block both these guys when I have let my ass going to turn three. You go get in. All right. So we're, we're 20th. How much of a gain during that session of pit stops? It, it, it is absolutely a track position race because we were kind of working our way towards the leaders during the first run. But I like lose time at every pit stop. I don't know, man. It's like the last like session of pit stops or whatever is going to wind up re resulting in us barely beating the leaders with their freaking extra pit stop they're going to take. I'm trying to imagine and think about it because they're just that freaking hard. They're half the track away. Like, we're so fast, but it's so hard to just drive away from one guy. When I catch somebody from flying past them, and suddenly they just speed up. It's rubber banding. It's a rubber banding into their stupid freaking ISI AI programming. I'm trying so hard to pass this damn 41 car. And I'm destroying the tires, I guess. I'm up to 18. All these guys taking their pit stops right after we do now because we hit so much earlier. Our next stop will be 24. And that's the speed we're looking for. There's Joni Machek, and he's running 15th, I guess. I'm trying not to hit you, but at the same time, I, to get away from your car and not hit it. Okay, Brian Vickers, go! Mr. Pole Sitter, slow as shit in the middle of the field. Makes sense with. Joe Nemechek, because he only fell off a little bit. You fell off hard, but no, now you're up in my butt and you're leaving me alone. I just hit the curve at the bottom of the turn two. I didn't even know that was there. It looked like just a blank texture, but I hit something. You know, I wouldn't be hitting you like this if you would, if you'd make up your mind if you're fast or slow. Stop getting my nerves. Is he pitting? No, he's not. He's just being stupid. They're tearing up my race car finally. I need to fix that next pit stop. Look at this shit. Look at this straightaway speed from freaking Ryan Newman. Why do they give me garbage, like, an incompetent car for a de default setup or whatever it is? I'm gonna jerk the damn thing left and right down the straightaways, but then I also have people just killing me in straightaway speed. Well, I'm leading the race, and this is David Reagan, so he is actually a lap behind. Look at this track map. Look at these cars all over the place. There is Jeff Green himself right behind me. Are you going to win this race too? Yeah, I, I know. See, that, him saying that makes me wonder. It makes me wonder about trying to go an extra two laps. Ugh. Stop it, Jeff Green. Stop it. Oh, right, there's a caution, because you won't get out the way. I got a pit stop taken. You do that. Now I got to pit under the caution. So, so we couldn't have a caution-free race. They, they just, they love to run the same pace as me, run the same speed as me when I'm around them. We were actually about to have a caution-free race. Masker away. Well, since it's under caution, fixing the damage didn't really change all that much in the first place. But now we're in a situation where I... I cannot take advantage of them taking more pit stops than me. There's a number of guys that should be a lap down, so I guess that minimizes the impact to some extent. I might be as far back as 20 at that worst. I don't know if they're going to restart me at the tail of the field for pitting or just put me where I belong. I always do this where they put the lap cars in the way. 
I ask them to fix the damage, they, they can give me more damage. I mean, it looks like more damage to me. Um, we are going to start passing David Reagan on the restart. I'm fourth. I'm third. Where am I? Game. Just what position? The leader's right in front of me. So, and we're third. Wait, is David Reagan for position? Because I just passed him. How on earth would that ever happen at all? I don't know. There's Mark Martin, and he is the lead, not, not the leader. He's on the lead lap. That, that makes sense. Good. Stay with them. Don't worry about that one too much. So, I mean, maybe now that the damage is fixed, my car can go fast in a straight line. I'm going to clear Mark Martin. I'm going to hit the brakes so I can make turn two. Y'all are just going to sit in the way. I'm trying to go around you. Don't hit the wall. Okay, that's fine. You don't hit somebody, so you try to avoid them so you don't catch more damage. The car just slides the hell into the wall. Like, it just... It's just wacky, unsettling. I just took the lead. We led some laps because of like the way the pit stops have been playing out. But now, now we're actually leading laps. This is one way to actually get our track position that we're supposed to have. I just don't know if the pit stops are going to be good enough for me to win this race, get our fourth win. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm, I'm making time, and y'all are just going to sit there. See, I want to drive around him, but I can't just stop turning mid-corner so I can get to the outside. I'm just going to... The car's going to send itself towards the wall. You can't make the street movements like that. I mean, maybe a good result is possible from this race. We have no more cautions. Me included. Me not have to put up with idiots blocking the track whenever I'm just trying to get it down pit road. Just no cautions be the most normal race run this season. I mean, even Talladega wasn't normal. That was not a normal super speedway race. We got pace now. We got, I mean, these are lap cars. We we're driving away from the lead lap cars. So was it really just aero damage? This is, I mean, there's probably so few cars in the lead lap. Oh, now we have actually caution that I didn't cause. But this would not have happened if I had not wrecked David Reagan. Which guy didn't even wreck David Reagan, he wrecked himself, so. Dale Jr. Fucking moron. Oh, they removed my freaking shoe bell. The game is lagging during my pit stop. Come on, game. And the car looks nice, but you just ripped off my right ass cheek. What is Almendinger's thing with just stopping to look at me? They said I'm 21st, but that, that is not 20 cars in front of me. So, the dang leaderboard after the caution is always just full of shit. Yeah, since I'm 21st, watch me get the line to be like 10. I'm first? How am I first? Wait, you got two lanes of cars. One of them is supposed to be lead lap cars. The other is supposed to be lap cars. You're doing all that shit. I don't even know. Y'all just, I just fixed that. And y'all are trying to beat me again. I mean, I guess to, to get on the lead lap and whatever. It's Jeff Gordon. He is for position. Jeff Gordon is going to finally win a race in this game. There goes Mark Martin. These stupid lap cars. They just put them in the way. They just put the lap cars in the way of the leaders. Good old stupid ways to run NASCAR back in the day. I can't complain about it enough. In the situation where I'm losing my, my lead on the race that I've worked really hard to get to and then some of it's just been race manipulation that I have no control of. Can you stop touching me? Can y'all just get, get the fuck out of the way? All of you. You're all stupid. You're all brainlets. Damn, man. Y'all get a run. Y'all get a draft. Y'all rub your faces up my ass. I can't just go away. Not be near you. Not be touched. Not be fondled. Oh my god. We're gonna catch back up to you. This is us taking the lead on speed. And track position has been everything. Go down pit road and lose five spots. Because my pit grass has to suck no matter what kind of pit stop I take. And this yellow guy, he's going to take a, a pit stop, but he's going to have such a wide injury, someone can crash into him. And we're back to leading laps. Hey, I'm a dinger. I'm in your mirror if you want to stare at me. Like passionately, like you keep on doing when I'm on pit road. I'm right here. He's got a crush on Casey Kane. But you know, don't blame him. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm trying to get down pit road. You're doing all that shit. There is not a space for me to pull off the track. Go. Just go. Okay. Gas it. Gas it. Go. 
Now slam them brakes. Don't speed in. I did. 54. That's the best that possibly could have turned out. Damn, that freaking front end is all bashed up. Was it from rear-ending somebody? I mean, I guess. Anything else? I mean, hit the wall a few times. Spin them tires from off pit road. I scared him. Yeah, we're just gonna. I mean, he's gonna run the bottom line anyway, so I had to drive like that. I'm scared of that freaking entry to the track off pit road because there's just nothing there, and the car handles like crap anyway. So even if there was an apron, I wouldn't be able to drive on it like in other games. It's it's just not good here. There's a few other tracks where it's just as bad. I'm sixth. Look, there, there's proof right there. Like, I was driving away with the lead, and now I'm sixth after pit stops. Damn. What's the... It's not like that other races. I can gain time on pit road other races. Like, it's a freaking new technic scheme. But no, here, I am losing ass loads of time. You're already heading into the pits. I pit two laps, and they're already going in. That puts me in third. So it's me, Kurt Busch, and other guy right now, I don't know, who, they, they don't give me information who's in second. It looks like it might be Ryan Newman. And he was really fast earlier. Yeah, and Ryan Newman just took the lead. So a Dodge is going to win this race? I can't go, the car just doesn't want to go straight. Holy crap. Somebody caught me. Oh, you're distracting. Awful, awful setup. Idiots made it. Then you got David Strimmy, who's also a Dodge. Three different Dodge teams battling for the win here at Pocono. It's just such an awful setup. I gained time in the corners with this awful setup. And there they go. There's going to be six laps to go this time by. So they're going to have to take another pit stop. <laughs> Seeing the dinger right after he comes off pit road, before I take my next pit stop, it's like I gained no or lost any time this past six laps, like to be right here next to him, same situation. So now I got to enter pit road, and he's going to sit in the way and whatever, and I'm trying to check up where I got to put up with him. Yeah, I'm going to get half a tank of fuel, and I'm going to get right side tires, and... Hopefully win this race. No freaking caution to throw the whole damn strategy. Oh, we had damn black flags on. That would have just be my entire race right there. Right side tires. And, yeah, one can. They're going with 1.5 cans. Because of how long it takes to get to the right side and then put the right side tires on. Joe Dimacek almost dumped my shit going out of the stall. You haven't seen much pit stops since, like, the beginning of the race. Why are you driving so slow? It's like freaking ignition where you just go in slow motion and do everything. And I mean, I feel like I have to show you this one. This is our only two-tire stop in this race. All this freaking smoke. Go, go, go. Yeah, that was a fast stop. I gotta remember, get that thumbnail from the beginning of lap 16. All well, these guys coming by, yeah, we're not leading. There's no one coming up behind me. So we're third. We did gain time. Hopefully this car just drives normal and the left side tires can handle the next three laps. If they don't hit, that wow, that would just be kind of shocking because like it looked like that would make sense with how often they were hitting. And then you have Jeff Gordon winning. Or Kurt Bush right there running second. He's right behind him. Then he got me here on two tires, so I mean I don't know if I could catch him on my own speed if that was an option. Are they going down? Yep. Well. Did, are we going to lead the most laps this race? It looks like we are going to win it, but are we going to lead the most laps? Here we come off of turn three. They're going to be waving the white flag. We might lose. No. 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 You, you, you did not just do that. We're not the only car on the lead lap. Of course not. But freaking Jeff Gordon just dumped Kurt Busch. And then this guy's railing him. Joe Nemechek. Oh, it's going to end the race under caution. Are you going to say that I didn't win now? They always fuck up the scoring. When it ends under caution, they're going to take the win from me. I'm first. Say that I'm first. 
Okay, I'm first. I, I, I was in the lead there, and I'm uh, first here. There's the results. We are first there. Okay, let, let's do some donuts and celebrate. Watch me celebrate, and then the actual final result says that I'm not the winner. That'd be weird. I barely hear the fucking car. Alrighty, yo! Okay, we did win the Pocono 500. Fourth win of the season. Two more to tie what he got in his 2006 season. But, unfortunately, because that ended under caution, Mark Martin and Kyle Busch didn't lose as many positions as they probably should have with their last pit stop or some shit. At least I was expecting it. So it was the three caution race, but it's still probably the most normal race that we've run all season. And we won it. This happens whenever you have normal races. I, I get to win them. That was really 48 minutes. So we move up to fourth place in the standings, but we're still over 300 points behind the leader. You know, it's good and all that Mark Martin and Kyle Busch, even Clint Boyer, are getting the races that they deserve. But, like, what difference does it make if I never get the races that I deserve? Them, on the other hand, it's like whenever I have a great race, they don't have bad days. Or it's like they're not getting screwed over like I do whenever I have a good day. So this time I, I finally actually have one, and then they, they still finish where they always do. This is bull crap. They don't get screwed over like I do. This, this crap don't matter anyway, so the chase is going to be again, and that's going to be a complete freaking toss-up. Because for all we know, it's ten races, and any three of them could turn out like Dover, Lowe's, or, or, or Darlington right here. But I'll see you guys next time whenever we go to Michigan for the Citizens Bank 400. That's that, and episode over.